got to do that every video, man. I got to get in the rhythm. Doing that stupid. Got to get in the rhythm, man. Title of this email, Dad Remarrying. Who? Dad Remarrying. Dad, not dat. Dad. Yeah, you said dat. Dad getting married after mother's death. It's time to move on, man. It's time for him to move on. Yeah. You know why, don't you? Because she gone, man. She gone. Hi, Keithy Kelly. I'm an 18-year-old male from Dublin, Ireland. And I just found out that my dad is marrying his girlfriend after only being with her for a few months. My mother died, died about three and a half years ago. I thought you were going to say three and a half weeks ago. Yeah, that's a damn red flag. I would call a damn homicide detective or something. Have him redo that damn autopsy. I've been looking at forensic files. You see that shit? Yeah. Man, you just said your mother died three and a half years ago. Yeah, he waited a long time. That's three and a half years ago, man. You know how many days that is? It's 365 days in a year, right? Times three. 15 carried away. Over a thousand days. Mother, mother died about three and a half years ago, <coughs> and me and my dad found it tough. But since then, my dad has had two girlfriends, one of which he has been dating for about five months. Okay, five months. That's the rebound. That didn't work out nice with this girl. Yesterday, my dad got a letter and seemed very secretive about it, quickly running upstairs and putting it in his room. When him hey, Dad, what you reading, Dad? Hey, Dad. Hey, what's that? Hey, you got to be secretive, man. None of your damn business, boy. Get the fuck out my Let's face. Let's do it all over again. Hey, Dad. Who is that, Dad? None of your fucking business, boy. Should have said, now get the fuck out my face. Yesterday, my daddy got a letter and seemed very secretive about it, quickly running upstairs and putting it in his room. When him and his girlfriend went to a party last night, I went to his room and found a letter from a church in Dublin giving informa information about a wedding next year and a confirmation date. You, what's the word I'm looking for? He's sneaky as hell. You sneaky, conniving, no good kid you. That's none of your business, man. Yeah, you 18. Your dad's an adult, man. Going in your dad's what room. What you want, man? You want your dad to stay home, jacking off, busting nuts on himself for the rest of his life without a female? It's kind of selfish of you, man. What are you, man, what if your dad going in your room snooping around? Find your nudie books. Your damn porn and stuff. and Yeah. Then he likes your porn and sits in your room and jacks off. That's the same thing, man. That's man, just, what that's the just hell you. are you talking about? What? Daddy going in your room looking at your point, his son's point and jacking off? The same invasion of privacy is what I'm looking for. That's a little bit more than a damn invasion of privacy. Y'all get How what I'm saying. How can you go in and break in your son's room and look at his point and jack off to his <laughs> fuck tapes? <laughs> oh, you overdid it on that one. But look here. That's an invasion of privacy. Yeah. That's, the, that's what I was looking for. Invasion of privacy. The term for the day is... Invasion of privacy. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't like if your dad did that, would you? No. You wouldn't like that. I honestly don't know what to think. I'm in the middle of, of my leaving cert, similar to SATs. Oh, that's um, college stuff. And I'm very stressed, so this obviously doesn't help. This has really upset me, and I don't even like that his girlfriend lives in a house. Well, well so that's kind of... Man, what? You hear, you hear your daddy in now? Um, Got them nuts hanging out. You hear your daddy in now? Hear that damn headboard hitting the wall. You, you, you hear your daddy in now? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Make you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, daddy in there fucking. Daddy got the damn headboard hitting the wall. You can hear all that damn meat clapping. You can hear them sweet walls all glistening. And you can hear your daddy in there. Oh, busting all kinds of nuts. This has really upset me, and I don't even like that the girl lives in the house. Hey, that's his girl. Only natural that she moves in with him. Yeah. I just don't feel comfortable about it, and I have told him this, but it seems like he stopped caring about how I feel with a different woman living in our house. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. Uh, he you cares what you think, man, but yeah, he, she the one. She got the pussy. You got a dick. He don't like dicks. Yeah, he. he and you his pussy. kid, man. You he got. He needs some pussy, man. Ain't but so much you can give that man. That man wants some nice, warm, 
wet pussy wrapped around his mushroom tip. He wants to go deep inside, just leave them nuts hanging out. He needs some cream pie action. Should I tell him I know or should I be okay with this happening? I honestly have no clue what to do or to think. Help would be greatly appreciated. Hey, man. Never. You won't shut up. Hey. You want your daddy to be happy, right? Yeah, you want that, don't you? You want your daddy to be happy, right? Right. You want your daddy to be happy. This is making your daddy happy. Yeah, he just lost his wife. Three years ago, he's trying mm -hmm. to put his life back together. Mm-hmm. Right? You wait a long time, man. You know what I'm saying? Daddy you sounds like a good saying. man. He just got his needs. He's got his wants. Yeah. And besides, I did not hear you not one time an email said you didn't like this woman. So what's the problem? Huh? You what's guessed the dad. What was problem? pissing you off? Somebody's taking your mama's place. Right? But nobody will ever replace your mama. Yeah, she ain't coming mama. back to life not anytime soon anyways. You know, I kind of felt weird too, man. When my dad passed away, my mama started seeing another man. Yeah. You know, about about a year or two later, I felt kind of weird about that. This dude's fucking my mama. Daddy gone, and she kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I was only 16, 17 at the time. But then when I got out of the house and I moved away, I joined the military, I had my own life. Just like your dad got his own life. He has to live it. You just being a little selfish, just like I was at that age. Yeah, my mama yeah. was happy. Yeah, you know? my mom's happy. That's all I cared about. Yeah, so you know? be happy for your daddy. Be glad that somebody else wants to be with his ass. Yeah. Imagine you going off to college. You worry about your daddy because he at the house all depressed and lonely and looking at your fuck tapes and jacking off all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't be able to concentrate on your studies. Be happy for your daddy, man. Can't have it both ways, man. Yeah. Be happy. Oh! David got me! David sucking me off. <laughs> yeah. Fit me calm. Oh! Oh!